I'm the disc golf guy. 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 And this is my video vlog. I'm the disc golf guy, and this is my video blog, brought to you by Legacy Discs. Play with confidence. I'm joined today by Mr. Florida, world champ, multiple billion time world champ and winner, Ken Kleiman. How are you doing today, good, Ken? Good, Terry. How's it going? Pretty darn good. Uh, we're here at the Throwdown the Mountain, presented by Sun King, and uh, it's kind of odd, but we're it's Saturday, which is the second day of competition in a B-tier. Um, I watched you throw down today. Tell us a little bit about your round. Oh yeah, it started out really good. I was 400 for the first six, made some pretty good shots out of the gate. Made a putt on the first hole, really good drive on the second hole. Got a golf off some confidence. Made a big putt on, I think, number five to keep my confidence brewing a little bit. Made a couple bogeys in with seven and nine, and brought me back to 200. I was a little shaky right about there, and then just played a really good back nine. Putted really good, I missed one little putt on the back nine. It was kind of a half fall out, half miss. But otherwise, it was it was really solid. I was I was glad to get in with a, a decent score today and have maybe a chance tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and one of the things that they're seeing or going to see throughout the vlog is uh, you throwing most of your shots on uh, throughout this entire round. And I appreciate you telling us what your tee shots were, what the disc was with every tee shot. We were talking during the round and. Uh, well, what does that mean when you're th constantly throwing a similar disc over and over and over? You don't have 40 different molds in your bag. What does that mean for, for players at home when you're seeing the same disc over and over? No, it means that if you're really confident in one disc or a few discs, you know, go ahead and use those as much as possible. And only when you really don't think you can use those is to break into something else. If the wind is five miles an hour difference or there's, you know, just a little difference, sometimes it's not best to change this. Sometimes it's best to stay with the same disc and give it a little bit different angle. And I think, you know, staying with good, good solid discs that you know how they fly, you know their flight characteristics, you know what they do, that's key in golf. Because if, if you can make it go where you want it to go, that's what it's all about. Do you see too many people? Would you would you say that's maybe even an amateur mistake of sorts? Is you know they have a hundred different discs that do a hundred different things and they're yeah. carrying all those in their or bag? Three or four molds of the same mold, but they use them sporadically. It's like <laughs> one here, one there, one sure. there. Even though they fly about the same, it's you know it's not you don't get the continuity you would get if you use the same same disc for those shots over and over. And this course kind of promotes a, a very straight type shot. Something maybe a hyzer release with a slight turn. A lot of the holes are like that. We have to have a hyzer release with a slight turn. So mm -hmm. that's why I was using the, pretty much the same disc on, on most of the holes out here because a lot of the holes are very similar in flight, flight line. You want to you be online out here. You really don't want to miss your line by much because there's some trouble waiting out here. Yeah, there is. And we saw, I, I gave everybody a little bit of a hard time yesterday saying I didn't see a lot of highlights. Uh, but this that just goes to prove how tough this course was. Um, yeah, I'll say one of the few holes I didn't record you was uh, hole seven, where I guess you did take a bogey. <laughs> I wondered how you fell to the bottom of the tee uh, on the next hole. What happened there on seven that, that got you? Well, yesterday I threw my slightly beater rock and it into the wind and it turned over into the water on the right and I didn't want to go in the water again, so I took my slightly more stable rock, and it was a bit of big headwind, and I just either didn't flip it enough or it just didn't quite turn. I was stable rock, and it went up into the junk. I just had nothing. Okay. It was an insta bogey, basically. <laughs> well, we, we are showing then right now, uh, in, in lieu of your bogey, we're going to show a birdie by one of the pro women who threw an absolutely perfect shot, uh, so I hope you're enjoying that action there. Uh, like you said, you want to put yourself in position here for Sunday's final round. Uh, you shot 55. How do you feel that, uh, that fares overall? I thought I needed like a 53 or 52 to, to get a little closer to the lead, but it all depends on what the leaders shoot because this course can do anything <laughs> to anybody. So I'm happy with the 55. It was colder and windier today, so it was a pretty good score for me out there. I, I really played good on the back, which is a harder nine. Absolutely. Well, with that being said, it was a real pleasure to be able to watch you. I rarely get to watch entire rounds, so to follow you and Tyler Horn and Dana and all the great players you guys had, you had a really good group along with uh, Chris Dietzel Very and Jeremy, yeah, yeah, Jeremy. Jeremy Coling. I mean, it was just a really a great group to watch. So uh, with that being said you're gonna move on to the final nine which is really more like monster nine a monster nine would be a good way to put it so we'll be out there watching some of that action tomorrow awesome can't wait all right all right Thanks, there Jay. he is he's the man ken climo this golf guy right here thank you ken climo here and we'll catch up with you guys later and i'm here with big germ germ you watched kenny shoot a 55 and you followed that in with a 56 same card uh give me a highlight or a, or a exciting point of the round that we had today uh just i honestly can't really think of any one highlight um i think that there was just a lot of really uh good play from kenny and the rest of the car was a lot of fun it was easy to 
to stay warm when we're laughing on those uh, transition holes where you're, where you're waiting for the next tee to, to get out of your way. And um, it's kind of a slow round. It's never a fast round out here to throw down the mountain. So, you know, anything you can do to keep your blood flowing. Uh, that was the highlight. I just had a good time. Okay. Good. Well, it's just about a five hour round. I'll put up a little image of where we walked today and everything we did uh, during that five hours is a lengthy round. Uh, we saw some great play. It looks like you and Kenny will both be moving on to the leader card yep. for the final day. So uh, we uh, will look forward to seeing you there and I'd like to give you a thanks for uh, giving us all of the uh, drivers that you threw off all the different tees. People at home I think really like that. So uh, thanks for sharing all that information with us. Absolutely. So there it is. It's Jeremy Coling on the leader card with Ken Climo and a handful of the other top dogs around here. I'm the Disc Golf Guy, Jeremy Coling, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow.